this is Jody. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you a quick and creative card using the new stamp set, Blessed by God. You can see in this set that there are eight different images. There's some words as well as the two different style crosses. The stamp that I'm going to use out of there today is You're a Blessing in My Life. So I'm going to take some scrap, very vanilla cardstock, and go ahead and stamp this using Early Espresso ink. And then I'll punch that out with our new two inch circle punch. Anytime I use a punch, I always stamp first and then the hold the punch right upside down, right over it so that I can see exactly where I'm going and get it centered just how I want it. Okay, so I will set this aside for a moment. Um, the base of the card is very vanilla. It's eight and a half by five and a half inches. And then the next layer is crumb cake cardstock. And this piece is four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm using our new lovely lace embossing folder with this. So let me just get that lined up in there. And then I'll go ahead and pull my big shot over just a little bit here. I set this between the two cutting pads and then just crank that through. And no matter how many times you emboss, it's always fun to see the result. You can tell this lovely lace embossing folder gives a very delicate, soft impression on that cardstock. So the next thing I want to do is pull in some of our new Venetian crochet trim. And I'm just going to set this across here, cut just a little bit wider than that crumb cake layer. And then I'll put it up oh, about here. Here, and I'm just going to flip it over and tack it down on the back with the snail adhesive. Just fold it in like that. Make sure it's straight. Yep. And then I'll go ahead and put adhesive on this entire layer. Normally, if I'm working with a regular not embossed piece of cardstock, I'll only do adhesive in the corners. But when I emboss it like this, there's less surface actually connecting with the adhesive, and so I like to put a little extra on there. So I'll center this layer right on the card base. And then this that I stamped earlier is going to become the focal point. So let me grab my dimensionals here, and we'll just put a couple on the back. and place that right here. So the last thing I want to do is take one of these very vintage buttons and put a glue dot on the back of it like this. And then I'm going to attach to that just this little piece of our early espresso cotton ribbon. I'm going to fold it over like that, but what I want to do is get a glue dot in the middle here so that I can fold this and then stick this button right over it like that. And then before I attach it to the card, I'm going to add one more thing. I just did a little bow like this with the linen thread. So I'll also pick up a glue dot to attach that and put it right in the middle here. Okay, and then this will attach to the card also with a uh, dimensional. So just put that on there and then put that right down here in the corner. So the embossing folder really adds a lot to this card and then just some of these delicate embellishments here just make it a great quick and creative card. Thanks so much for watching. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.